in Paris. So I have questions. All right, Coach, now you're, you're midway through spring ball. Yeah. you got a scrimmage upcoming. Then a week from now, you're going to have the uh, spring game. So what have you learned? Maybe what have you liked? And what do you need to improve among your offense? Um, you know, what, what you're able to see on a consistent basis, our guys, they're getting out there. They're screening a little bit more every day. Uh, you just see guys who haven't been in the system a while starting to get a real good feel for it. Uh, and then our guys who have been in it, just watching them to take steps. Uh, you know, looking back at last week's scrimmage, so we gave our receivers a lot of opportunities to make plays downfield. That was the emphasis that day. Um, so you saw a lot of our young guys show us that they can do that. And that's what we wanted to walk out of that scrimmage feeling that way. Our quarterbacks, all four of them, did a great job giving us chances because that's the biggest thing. When you talk about throwing the ball down the field, we tell our quarterbacks, hey, we're not overthrowing guys. Give them a chance to do it. And all four of those guys are doing a great job. And you're just watching them develop. Coach Henshaw is obviously coaching his butt off of those guys. And uh, just this week, uh, the emphasis has changed a little bit. So, you know, we, we're excited about that too. We've been a lot more physical this week. Coach, you know, obviously Kobe being limited through spring. What have you guys seen from the rest of the receivers, some of the young guys maybe who are having an opportunity to step up and, and maybe get a little bit more time now that Kobe's kind of been limited? Yeah, kind of, you know, when, when you have an experienced guy that, you know, you want to scale back on for whatever reason, uh, you kind of look at it, as, I look at it as a blessing for our group because, you know, that kind of stuff happens during the season and, young guys haven't gotten an opportunity to get those reps, you know, the pressure is a little bit different then. So for us to go through at this point of the spring and them have to go all the way through getting those reps is helping them a lot. And Xavier Townsend, when he got back, you know, he's, he's moving around in different spots than we've had him before and showing that he can play all across the field. You know, he's been predominantly a slot guy. He's playing a lot more on the outside now to help with Kobe being out. And he's doing a great job. You know, it's showing us that we we got we need to be able to use him in different ways. And then all of our young guys, it's, it's forcing them to accelerate in their process. Uh, Burdell, Tyree, uh, Goldie, you know, all of them that play that position, they're getting reps that they probably wouldn't get as many of. And they're, they're showing that they're getting better. And it's helping us. And it's going, it's going to be big for us down uh, in August, September. Talked about how you're getting more physical uh, this week. UCF's had a lot of good blocking receivers. Mm -hmm. Is that something that's really been a point of emphasis oh, this spring? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, with our group, uh, what we tell those guys in the room is, you know, your production as a pass catcher, you know, that's not going to mean as much to to me as a coach when I'm grading you every day than how you play without the ball. Uh, and so, you know, blocking, when you're running routes, where you're clearing out, all those things, when you're playing without the football, I need to see the effort level reaching the same standard. And, uh, and our guys are holding themselves accountable to that. And, you know, I, I feel great as a coach when, you know, you speak on something in a meeting and then you get out on the field and you hear your guys regurgitating that. You know, they're telling their teammates, hey, we're not straining enough on that block. You're not finishing that block. You're not winning that man. So when, it, when I start seeing them repeat and hearing them repeat what I'm coaching them to do in the room, I know that message is very clear to them. So, you know, playing without the ball, that's going to be our biggest emphasis more than anything. Coach, uh, what were your goals for KJ Jefferson going into mm -hmm. the spring camp and where is he to those goals? Um, you know, I think we start off just trying to make sure that we as a staff do the things that he's most comfortable with and that he's had success with. Uh, you look at systems that he's been in before, uh, they, they're not a whole lot different than what we do. So we just try to grab those specific things and make sure that we're incorporating them into what we do. And, um, you know, you watch him, the experience that he has, he's played a lot of football. He's played a lot of football, played a lot of meaningful games. And a lot of times as a staff, when you get a new quarterback, you got to worry about the jitteriness of, you know, just not being confident, but you see a confident guy out there. So that's the number one thing for me that we walk away from every practice that you see him gaining confidence every day, him being deliberate in what he do, him being able to lead his teammates. And that's me. That's the biggest thing that I watch because physically KJ can do everything that we want to do in our offense, but just the off the field stuff and him being able to coach his teammates and them respond to him is what I want to see. And I'm seeing that. Coach, a lot of changes to a tight end room this offseason, I mean, and a lot of versatility in there. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from that room? Oh, man, like, uh, it's crazy. I talk about it every day. Like, when we first got here, that room was a, you know, we had some good individual players in there, but, you know, going away for a season and coming back and seeing what that room is now, it kind of reminded me of what our running back room was probably when I, when I left here. Just a lot of, you know, stacked talent. Coach Blackman's done a great job of recruiting the skill set, recruiting the right kind of young man uh, in there, and they're very versatile. Um, we, I, when you watch those guys out there, you know, you're going to see the tight ends going to be a lot 
a, a lot more involved in our offense than they probably have been because of the skill set of certain guys. You know, you got guys that can really run and catch the ball, and then we got a really good mixture of guys that's, that are inline blockers. So, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about their role in the offense this year. Coach, everyone knows what RJ can do. What are you seeing behind him in that running back room between Johnny and, and Miles and those guys? Well, you know, Johnny Richardson had a lot of success here, too. You know, his, his numbers probably don't speak to the same as RJ's did a year ago, at least. But, you know, you watch him over the last three years. When his opportunities have come, he's been a playmaking dude for, for this program. And, and you see that still in practice today. You watch, you know, we in the third down period and he take one and that would be out the gate in a, in a full live period. So you're seeing the consistency of Johnny doing what he's, what he's done. And then you, you're watching him develop the other areas of his game too. And I think that's what's gonna take his game to the next level. You know, being a pass catcher is, been something he's been good, been good at, but also pass protection. When you're a smaller guy, people, you know, you as a staff, sometimes you try to shy away from having him in certain situations, but Johnny, he's so good of a player where you don't want to have to do that. So he's been showing that he's elevating his game by uh, performing well in that area, and that's going to help him. And then Miles, man, like, Miles runs, he runs hard. You know, he's a, he has a businessman uh, <laughs> mentality every day. You know, you, he gets behind his pass, he protects the ball. But, you know, as a, as a former running back coach, like, how he finishes and how he runs, that's what you want to see. So we got a good mixture of guys back there that are doing a great job that we feel great about. When you look at the, the offensive line, you got an interesting mix of mm -hmm. uh, some veterans and you got some transfers coming in and some young guys. I mean, what, what have you seen from that group and, and how they've maybe been able to bond as quickly as they have so far in the spring? Um, I think the biggest thing in that group, man, like I said, development. Uh, there were a lot of guys that, that you know that were here when I when I was here before that were young guys that hadn't reached that point yet. But you watch them now and how they developed over time. You know that's a super impressive thing. And you, you know you get that with Coach Hand. You know everywhere he's been, he's developed his guys and they've gotten better and better over the course of you know his time with them. But Paul Paul has done a great job at, at, at tackle fours. Uh, and all of our guys up front, Marcellus and all those guys that came in last year. You just watch them now. They're comfortable in the system. Comfortable knowing what we what we're expecting them to do. Adrian Medley, who the last time I was here, he was injured and out. And watching him, he's regaining that form that we knew he was about to be before that season when he got injured. And, and you're seeing it. And our young guys, you know, even the guys that have just been here a season, you're watching them now in practice where they, they get it. They get it. So you don't have a lot of busting going on. And that's really what you want to look for up front, that guys are understanding what's supposed to be happening. And, and you're seeing that every day. They're just getting better and better. Obviously, you're in the offensive room, but you get to watch the defense compete with your guys. Hmm. What have you noticed from the defense this year as opposed to when you were here last? Hey, they're aggressive. <laughs> they're aggressive. And uh, I'll be honest, a lot of times in spring ball, uh, going against defense, it seems kind of, you know, people try to be vanilla and, and give you the base stuff and get the, like what, what we're going against every day and how our defense is attacking us, it's going to help us. Uh, when we get to the season because you're seeing things that a lot of times you don't see until week five week six in the way that we attack and how aggressive we are about it and you know I, I appreciate that because it has those guys playing with an edge and you know it makes our guys get better because they have to show up every day that those guys are gonna hit you in the mouth and, and coach Roof and, and the entire defensive staff you know that's the mentality that they have just in the building when we're in staff meetings you can tell that that it's different so you know I'm I'm happy to be able to go against them every day because I know it's going to get our guys ready for what we're going to see in the season. Coach, in the fall, the game plans change each week, so the mm -hmm. offense is somewhat different each week. Right. In the spring, how much of the game plan or not the end of playbook do you install and actually use? Um, for us, you know, we. We try to get a good chunk of ours in because, you know, we, we have a system that we really believe in. Uh, and I think in the way that you break down spring practice as far as from week to week, we try to make sure the emphasis is all on the right things for us to get all of our stuff in. Uh, we want to walk out of spring ball with all of our guys, you know, our quarterbacks especially having a really good feel for the entire offense. So when you get here in the summer, you know, it's not like we're starting over. Like there may be a thing here or there that we might not do in the spring that we'll add. But for, you know, big picture purposes, you know, we have – who we are, you know, we have who we are in by the time we play out, you know, have our last spring practice. And, and with the spring game a week away, are you 100% uh -huh. you installed now? You still got oh, no, we still have some things that we're doing and, and we're still, you know, figuring out what we may want to hold back on and all that. But, you know, we're focusing on this week. Like last week, our emphasis was on the vertical passing game. This week, our emphasis is a little bit more on the run game. So, uh, you know, there's some special things that we do within our offense that we're still trying to figure out if we wanted to involve right now. But for the most part, who we are, our identity, our identity is in.
Coach, you just said for this weekend you want to see the focus on the run game. What specifically do you want to see in that description? It's just physicality. And, uh, you know, we, we truly believe that we run the football, you know, as good as in, as good or better than anybody in the country. And, you know, our success over the course of time has shown that. And, and that's what we just wanted to make sure this week that, you know, last week we, we were probably a little bit more finesse and how we try to get the ball out and all that. But this week we want to make sure that we go back to who we are and making sure that our guys leave this week knowing that our identity, we're going to be the most physical team. And we're going to run the football, and we got backs that we wanted to get involved in. We wanted to make sure that we leave this scrimmage with them getting enough reps of showing what they can do, too, and, you know, a part of their uh, competition that they have in that room. So, but physicality is number one thing. You previously talked about collaborating with Coach Malzahn on the mm -hmm. offense, but that you would have your fingerprints on it as well. Mm -hmm. What would that look like? Um, I, I think we're very similar, you know, and that's why, you know, we're, we're all here. We, we are very similar, but just the, 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 some things that we may not have done in the past of getting the ball out a little bit quicker, you know, finding ways to get our playmakers the ball in space. You know, that, that's a big part of who I am, and, and Coach is a believer in that too. And we're going to continue to evolve. And really our entire offensive staff, we all have a piece in that. You know, Coach Henshaw, obviously he does a good, great job with our quarterbacks, and his, his part of, he's, he's a part of that collaboration too. And, and that's, that's what we do, man. We do this thing together, and, and we feel like if we stay strong together and make sure that our focus are all aligned, you know, we, we'll be as good as we can be. You guys all set? Perfect. Good stuff. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Coach. Right. Thank you.